Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can set up a bungee cord server. It's pretty easy, I mean it does require a little bit more configuration compared to the basic Minecraft server, but uh, it's not really hard to do. So let me show you how to do that. Basically you have two options to choose from. The first one is, you know, bungee cord and the second one is waterfall. You know, a bungee cord is made by Spigot MC and the waterfall was made by Paper, you know, who makes the Paper server. I personally recommend them because uh, they have better optimization and uh, more bug fixes. So I would rather choose the waterfall uh, server software instead of the bungee cord. But you can also go with the bungee cord if you want. But uh, I will go with the waterfall right now. So you obviously need the waterfall, and you will also need to get the main server software. So you know the spigot or the paper. Let's get the waterfall or the bungee cord first on this site. You know the downloads button, and basically just get the newest one. You should be good to go. So I'm going to get the waterfall and also get the paper server too. So I'm just gonna save it to the desktop too. And uh, it is it is done. Right. So yep, yeah, we got everything. So what we are gonna do is basically fire up the bungee cord or waterfall server and also setting up two servers, one for the lobby and another one like creative or survival to test that you can change the servers while you, you are playing on it. Okay, so you can close the browser now. Here is the waterfall or bungee cord if you got bungee cord and here is the paper if you got spigot, the spigot. So create a new folder for that and uh, start with the waterfall. Just put the file in this folder, open it and here is this file. So we gotta make it executable so we can run it just open up a notepad and uh, we are gonna make the comment to make this thing possible so you know start the comment with Java then you should specify an amount of RAM I mean I think 512 megabytes of RAM should be fine and you don't really need more to the bungee cord or whatever for because you know it's just a proxy that connects all of the main servers and the other part of the so basically this is the starting amount and this is the maximum amount I mean you can change this too but uh, it doesn't really matter part and finally the file name of this thing so just click here paste it here then make sure to put the dot jar on the end of this and finally no GUI. No GUI, which means that it's not gonna open another unnecessary window. So let's save it now to the file folder, and the file name should be something bat. So in this case, mine is run.bat, but uh, only the dot bat part is important. So this little part here, the file name doesn't matter, so just save it and uh, it should be great so just double click on it and uh, it should be able to run all right it uh, runs and it generated the files so we need to stop it here right now uh, no uh, we need to use the end command to stop it so as you can see we got a bunch of files here what i'm going to do first is create a new folder for it so in this case is waterfall just put all of these files in this folder because you're gonna need the different folders for the different servers so I'm just creating a lobby server too and a survival oh, let's create a creative one creative okay so leave this empty first and uh, go back to the waterfall folder and uh, check out this config.yml file. Uh, 
I highly recommend you to get Notepad++. You know, it's text editor like the Windows Notepad, but it's just better in many ways. And as you can see, we get a bunch of settings here. The Ford support, we do not need Ford support. So I can just turn it off. But if you want, you can obviously turn it on. I have a Forge Minecraft server tutorial, so if you want to use Forge server, you can watch that and uh, you should leave this true. Timeout and lock commands. I mean, you can lock commands if you want, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Online mode true. What does that mean? If you have online mode true, so it is enabled. Uh, the server will authenticate with the Mojang servers every time that you start it and uh, Players need to do that too. So without a Legitimate copy of the game they cannot join If it's true, but if you leave it false They can join without the original game. So using a different launcher so Decide how do you want to use this? So the query port is basically you have to choose the different port. I mean you can leave this but uh, It's always better to change the default port So I'm just gonna do First to Thousand or something it should be great and uh, Also go a little bit down here and find this line where it says host and uh, after the bunch of zeros change this number to that number what you wrote here all right so it should be great so the first server is the lobby server here what we are gonna use so change this number to 32,000 and one for example it's easier to use this port and uh, we can also add a different server so I will have the creative server and it will be 42002 the port number obviously all right and uh, you know the MOT they can be changed but it doesn't really matter now so lobby server and creative server we are going to create it a little bit later so what you have to do you know the priorities this is going to be the first server i mean obviously the lobby is the first one here maximum player number i will choose it to change it to 100 for example the ip forward is important you have to enable this so make sure to do it so change it to true all right so the basic uh, waterfall configuration is done now let's create the lobby server first so make a copy of this file and paste it here and also paste the same paper file to the creative server or anything else that you are creating right now just create a ram.bat file here so basically what we are gonna do is and let's say one gig of ram and another one gig of ram should be great and a jar and uh, this window this file name All right we're gonna save this file to the lobby server folder run.bat and uh, we also need to save this or yeah to the creative folder so let's close this now so let's uh, set up the lobby server first so all right it's not running something is wrong yep it became dot jet not dot jar all right it should be great until this finishes i will fix this file in the creative folder too all right so now we'll head back to this folder and as you can see it's working but uh, we can start it because the eula is not accepted yet so go to this file and the eula force change it to true so it should be true here and uh, we can start it again right now and uh, it will generate the word and it's done 
so we have to stop it right now and a little bit more configuration it takes sometimes I don't know why but uh, anyways now you will see a bunch of config files here so first of all the server.properties file open this with note plus plus and uh, find the port number here so here's the server port so change it to what I said is for 2001 and uh, also we are going to change the online mode so even if you enabled the online mode in the uh, bungee code server or waterfall server you should turn it off otherwise it's not going to work and uh, you know the default sh should be great I mean if you really want to make a server you will change this but uh, yeah the MOTD whatever and also there is a file called spigot.yml and also edit it with notepad++ and find an option where it says bungee cord and change this to true so yeah so as you can see it's uh, yeah, nothing else so just change it to true and close it all right now let's start the waterfall first to test it out uh, hopefully this should do the trick and until the servers are starting no they are already started I will just put them here so you can see them I will start the game to test them out they should work now and if they work we can continue to set up the creative server too anyways just click on multiplayer and you should be able to connect to the using the local host IP address yep it's up and uh, we should be able to connect to the lobby server yep we are here so as you can see if I open uh, the bungee cord or waterfall as you can see I joined and uh, in the lobby server I can also see that I joined so I'm here as you can see it's survival and uh, it's a little bit laggy and the GPU fan is getting real hard so probably I should close this all right this disconnect okay this is working so let's create the creative server too so just run this file and do uh, basically we have to do the same configuration what we did in the lobby server yeah except the e u l a no not this open this now let's stop it firstly and uh, add in the server this properties file change the port to 32002 and uh, online mode to true uh, to false also and uh, the spigot.yml and also allow the bungee cord option here let's save it and uh, it should be up yep so I'm just going to put these on the screen again so as you can see this is the waterfall bungee cord server this is the lobby server and this is the creative server so it is survival but it doesn't really matter so let's connect to this server again and yeah the server command is available and if I write slash server creative I should be able to join this creative world this is not a creative but as you can see this uh, no not this um, which is that one so yeah it is as you can see this is the creative server here and uh, I am connected and uh, I'm here this is working I can break the blocks whatever but I also can go back to the lobby slash server lobby and I'm in the lobby server again so yeah 
one thing before you go is uh, if you do the port forwarding so you're running the server on your pc you need to open all of the ports so in my case it's 32000 32001 and 32002 so make sure to open all of them in order to allow players to connect to the server and if you're running a virtual server you should allow all of these ports through the firewall so make sure to do that and if you have a dedicated minecraft server you obviously can't run a bungee core network on it so dedicated minecraft servers are only meant for one word servers so yeah that's it it should be great by now i think i showed every important step you know just uh, go back to the last thing you can put the plugins here so for example if you are using some permission plugins like lock perms you should put it here and uh, you know the other servers here and uh, they probably require a database so x ampp and uh, you can basically open uh, this uh, to access the MySQL databases. Yep, we are here. So you probably should create a database for this. If you guys found this video useful, if so make, su make sure to subscribe for more uploads and share this video with your friends, hit the like button and see you soon. Bye bye.